Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading and this is for Taurus Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with a Taurus, you're going to assume that whom I am describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading so Taurus if you want to know your lucky numbers and lucky color follow me on Instagram that's dated March the 22nd to March the 31st of 2021 where I'm saying 2020 um, do you want to go back in time Taurus so if you also want to know your financial forecast, follow me in Instagram as well. If you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages, please subscribe to the other channel. That is Timevester Row 111. I hope to see you there. And if you resonate with some um, if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two time is fluid if you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading still congratulations for i am doing a collective reading so taurus i would appreciate if you can click the like subscribe and share at sa mga kababayan ko naman please naman po paki subscribe na lang din and like um first card is the seven of pentacles i mean seven of pentacles seven of wands right this is standing up for your beliefs, um, fighting for your corner, right? You're protecting yourself, you're defending yourself or probably de defending this connection. So it's either, you know, people is not agreeing that you're falling in love with this person. Your friends, your family feels like, oh, that person is not meant for you. You know, that person, blah, blah, yada, yada. And I can see here that you don't, you don't want that, right? You don't want people to give you things or, you know, commanding you what to do, right? If you are in a relationship, I can see here that it tells you that you have some challenges that may come in, uh, coming up. And if you want your relationship to go to the distance, you are going to have to fight for it. And this challenge may come from inside the relationship also, or other you, your relationship with, you know, friends, families, like what I mentioned, right? In the form of you or your partners trying to blame each other's also for the issue, it may happen right probably you are for a few numbers of you you're doing you're all already blaming each other right but i can also see here that your relationship is under attack from other third parties here that's why you're standing your crowd this way um i can see here you know, you're trying to defend it i'm checking all the avenues of the possibilities because again this is our general reading i'm I'm checking all the visions that I am seeing so that I can deliver the message. Um, you'll need to maintain your control. So I can see here that don't let other people ruin what you have. So if you're single, I can see here that um, you're interested in someone else, right? And you're going to have to fight for them. There may be like a serious competition from this person's, you know, um, affection. But if you allow yourself to sink into the background, right, you may get overlooked. So you, you need to be aggressive. You need to show a little, you know, 
rare kind of right you you need to be strong um but the wheel of fortune is here so it will be in your favor whatever it is that you are fighting for right i can sense here that if you have been finding you know that you are no longer content in a relationship this card can signifies upheaval that's true that could be you and your partner you know shaking up things and making you know like much needed changes to improve your relationship and i hope that you're shaking up things in the bed right for those who are in a deep relationship i am you know um seeing here that there are passions but of course with the ten of cups here well i can sense that this connection because someone's manifesting this connection right someone is manifesting this connection to have the completion i can sense that there will be a renewal there will be an abundant beginning here although probably one of those challenges that you may have is that your person is sneaking out and you know with the five of pentacles here they're kind of you felt that they are leaving the connection right they left you out in the cold ghosted you blocked you um but the son of pentacles actually stated that you might be in a stagnant relationship so that's one of also one of the reason why kind of this relationship is challenged but then again like what i mentioned it supersedes everything with the wheel of fortune the hermit you have been in a stagnant relationship and this is the time of the move wherein things are going to a calmer water things are going into your favor and i can see here with a five of wands here um i can sense here that yes you might be in a competition for someone else's attention but let me check here the seven of swords eight of wands communication is about to happen and the fountain the fountain here signifies abundance right this is the kind of blessing that the universe will be the universe will be giving you with a five of pentacles here three of wands and queen of coins your person you know is will having their let's say shadow work if i may say and about to give you this queen of coins which is their nurturing abundance with the five of um ones here nine of ones and seven of ones there's a lot of ones there's a lot of actions you know i can see that you are really defending yourself and be very strategic especially if you you know if you want to achieve whatever you want to achieve in this connection because your manifestation will depend on how you think and how you're going to take action but i can see here that you're going to have a very victorious relationship in the future with this person that you really want to connect with so taurus this is your reading and if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth you can book a personal reading with me if you're okay with the reading and you just have a question or two there's a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page tap in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading so thank you so much for watching love and light to you namaste see you on the next reading goodbye